ready to play Winman XP2 on your Xbox console? The video shows you how to set up this product. Let's go! Connect your Winman XP2 to the console. You will see the blue indicator is slowly blinking. Winman XP2 and console are now connected. Plug your wire controller to the Winman XP2's USB port. You will see the blue indicator is permanently on. To use your wireless controller for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, or PlayStation 5, connecting the controller and the Winman XP2 using a USB cable for the first time. Remove the USB cable after the blue indicator is permanently on. To use the Xbox Elite 2, the Xbox One, or the Switch controller, Press both the LED button on Winman XP2 and the pair button on the controller and then hold for one second to connect. You will see the blue indicator is permanently on. To use the Xbox 360 controller, plug the receiver to the Winman XP2's USB port. You will see the blue indicator is permanently on. It supports more than 125 models of controllers. Visit the Brook website to see all the supported controllers. It's time to see Winman XP2's features. Let's check out turbo and remake functions. I will demo them with a Xbox One controller. Step 1. Press both View and Xbox Guide buttons to enter turbo setup mode. The red indicator means you enter turbo setup mode. Step 2. Choose one or more buttons you want to set up turbo button. My choice is X and all these buttons can be set as the turbo button. Step 3. Press menu to save your settings. Step 4. Press the Xbox Guide button to leave turbo setup mode. The red indicator will then turn off. You can set your shooting frequency in turbo mode. There are 5 frequencies available. 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 shots per second. The default is 10 shots per second. I will show you how to set your shooting frequency. Step 1. Press both View and Xbox Guide buttons to enter Turbo Setup Mode. The red indicator means Turbo Setup Mode is on. Step 2. The Up button increases frequency while the Down button decreases it. To increase frequency, press both View and the Up button, and the indicator will flash faster. To decrease frequency, press both View and Down buttons, then the indicator will flash slower. Step 3. Press Menu to save your settings. Step 4. Press the Xbox Sky button to leave Turbo Setup Mode, and the red indicator will then turn off. Next, I'm going to cancel Turbo setting. Step 1. Press both View and Xbox Sky buttons to enter Turbo Setup Mode. The red indicator means you enter Turbo Setting Mode. Step 2. Press both View and Menu buttons to cancel all Turbo Mode settings. Step 3. Press the Xbox Guide button to leave Turbo Setup Mode, and the red indicator will then turn off. Let's move to Remake function. I will demo it with the same Xbox One controller. Step 1. Press both Menu and Xbox Guide buttons to enter Remake Setup Mode. The red indicator means you enter Remake Setup Mode. Step 2. Select a button you want to remap. For example, to have the X button at a B, press X once, then press both View and B. You can also set up a combo button to have A at X, X plus B. Press A once, then press View, X, and B. Step 3. Press Menu to save your settings. Step 4. Press the Xbox Sky button to leave Remake Setup Mode. The red indicator will then turn off. 
You can also cancel remote settings. Step 1. Press both Menu and Xbox Guide buttons to enter remote setup mode. The red indicator means you enter remote setup mode. Step 2. Press both View and Menu buttons to cancel all remote mode settings. Step 3. Press the Xbox Guide button to leave remote setup mode. The red indicator will then turn off. If you have another controller, don't forget to download the menu on the Brook website for a comprehensive setup guide. Alright, hope this video helps you understand more in how to use Women XP2. Thank you so much for choosing Brook, and we look forward to seeing you next time.